Starting off, I am just going to show you what I got for my PC. I'll be using the Tough Gaming X570 Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. For my CPU, I went with the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X processor. I'll be using the Windows 10 Pro. For my cooling, I picked up the Corsair IQ cooler. It has RGB and it's a great price compared to the other ones on the market right now. I'm going to try and use my brother's old RAM sticks, but I'm not 100% confident that they'll work, so I might end, up, might end up buying new ones in the end. For the power supply, I'm going to be using the Corsair's RM750 power supply. I got a single fan by Corsair. I picked up the Asia Horse power supply cables in white to exchange the ones I currently have in black. For my case, I'll be using the 275R Carbine series by Corsair in white comes with two fans. For my monitor, I got the Skepture 25 and 165 hertz. Then I picked up some SteelSeries headphones. I know it's for PlayStation, but I heard great for you to use for if you used it for your PC. Now let's get started building the PC. So this is my first ever time building a PC. I've never really taken any classes or been taught on how to build one. So I'm very new to this and I'm still learning. I was interested in getting a PC because I wanted a computer that could run all my school stuff. I was also into gaming, I've been playing console games ever since I was a kid, and I've always wanted to play on a PC and I hopefully stream in the future. I decided that now was probably the best time to get a PC and get used to everything before I started using it in college. I went with building it on my own instead of buying a pre-built because I wanted to understand the parts that went into the PC and also experience the process of building one. I am very new to this so I will try my best on showing how I did everything, but this is not a tutorial. I will, I'm going to recommend a YouTube video that I've been using. Uh, it pretty much shows step by step on how to build this PC. I found it extremely helpful because they included how to install different CPUs and coolers since there's so many out there and it tends to get confusing. So I'll link the video down in the description box below along with the, along with the video I'll include a list of the parts I used in the PC under the link named PC Park Picker for anyone who wants to know the specifics and price and where I purchased each one from. Now, on to building the PC.
Okay, so here's a little update on my PC. So for my PC, I had to do a BIOS update, which pretty much meant I had to update my motherboard so I could detect and use the CPU that's installed. Luckily, my motherboard had a BIOS update button, which meant that I can just update it with a flash drive that has the update installed on it instead of using a different CPU and installing an update on the computer itself. Um, so I did that, BIOS update worked, everything turned on, and then when I went to install Windows 10 on my PC, it started to blue screen a couple times, um, and I got a bit worried and it, and it ended up working out, but then I installed, installed like Chrome and it started to blue screen multiple times when I was installing and I got more worried because um, this is like another blue screening problem and I was so confused why I was doing that. So I, I did a lot of research and I ended up finding out what the problem was. I found that the issue was memory. Um, the blue screen had a little code and the code was a memory problem. So I researched that, which that led me down to the issue was the RAM that I was using. So I troubleshooted the RAM, found out that that was the issue. So I ended up removing the RAM and installing new RAM, but it required me to move the AIO cooler to the side and the fans to the top of my PC which was no big issue, it just, I didn't screw a few fans, move everything around a bit. So it does look different. Um, but the RAM I got was the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro, RAM sticks and 16 gigabyte. I'm super happy with this purchase and I'm happy it all worked out. Runs perfectly fine. I've not experienced a blue screen since I added the RAM sticks. So now I'll be showing the final result of the PC.